around the world are born too soon every year. Their little lungs struggle to breathe, and too many of them die. For those who survive, complications from prematurity can affect them throughout their lives. Now at last, scientists may have cracked a code to help understand the causes of this complex disorder. In the largest to date DNA analysis, an international team of researchers looked at the genetic makeup of 50,000 pregnant women. They studied six genes that seemed to determine how long a baby would stay in the mother's womb. For the first time, we have the clues that are going to lead us to rational ways of understanding a woman's risk for preterm birth. Dr. Muglia says scientists have known for a long time that preterm birth involves a combination of genetic and environmental factors. One of the newly identified genes is involved in how the body uses selenium, a mineral found in soil, seafood, and meat. Another finding is that the cells which line the uterus play a larger than expected role in the length of pregnancy. This study showed that the genes that seem to be responsible for the timing of birth were from the mother. For the first time, we have an idea of what tissue in the mom is the one that's likely driving the risk for preterm birth. The March of Dimes, a nonprofit group that helps support the research, hailed the study. We think this is an important breakthrough in finding solutions to end premature birth, and which is the leading cause of death for children between the ages of 0 and 5 and the leading cause of disabilities for babies. The study doesn't provide any immediate solution for stopping preterm birth, but the discoveries may unlock new ways to prevent this disorder. Also, the researchers only tested women of European descent. The U.S. researchers compared their findings to data from three different studies in Finland, Denmark, and Norway. The data pointed to the same six genes. The next step is to expand the study to include women from other races and ethnic origins. Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington.